Even Carol, the pensioner from Anglesey, has come all the way down here to watch Andy Murray knocking up. Now, those of you who've been watching our coverage over the last eight or nine days will know that Murray hardly ever takes the chance to knock up on a championship court. He uses two of the most private courts down at Orangi, where there's normally only a handful of media around, but it's absolutely packed now around court seven. Crowd have been waiting for about 15, 20 minutes once the whispers and the rumours began that Murray was knocking up here on a championship court. He had a brief go on nine yesterday, but this is a, a great opportunity for those who don't have a ticket on centre court to get a glimpse of the man aiming to make it through to a third Wimbledon final. It's an amazing record that Murray's putting together. It's his 20th Grand Slam semi-final, his seventh here. He's made the last four in six of the last seven Grand Slams that he has contested. And what a matchup against Thomas Burditch, the finalist from 2010. On paper, in the head-to-heads, it looks fairly tight. Murray leads 8-6, but he has won the last four of those encounters, and he leads their Grand Slam head-to-heads 2-1. But this will be their first meeting on grass. Burditch will be really fired up for this. But so too will Andy Murray. Many people feel, after making the final of the Australian Open and the French, people saying it's been his best clay court season of his career so far. And some of his play against Joe Wilfred Songo was absolutely brilliant in the quarterfinals. Almost four hours on court, it was by some margin his longest match so far. Songo did really well to come back into that one and force it to a fifth. But Murray got the early break in the fifth and then managed to come through in fine style in that fifth and deciding set but a great chance for the spectators to get a little glimpse of Murray as he attempts to take one step closer to a second Wimbledon title he is the favorite and it's the first time we've seen him as the favorite in the second week of a slam that of course after Novak Djokovic getting knocked out by Sam Query what a shock that was and the final many neutrals want to see is Federer against Murray, a rematch of 2012, not just in the Wimbledon final, but in the Olympic final as well. But there's some work to do against Thomas Burditch. Reading the papers this morning, Pat Cash feels as though the match could be closer than some are suggesting. He's saying he wouldn't be surprised if Burditch gets a set from Murray. And Andy will do, be doing that classic player's perspective of taking one match at a time. But it all seems fairly relaxed in the Murray camp. Lendl's been smiling a fair bit over the last uh, week and a half, more than we saw when he was last with Murray a couple of years ago. So it really has been a case of so far so good for Andy Murray. The fifth Queen's title, the first final at the French. No Novak Djokovic here. All the signs are there that it could be a very, very special weekend for the British number one. But he will not be taking Thomas Burdick too lightly here. Burditch is through to a sixth Grand Slam semi-final. He's been in the top ten for six years now without a break. So Murray knows it could be a really tough contest. Their first meeting on grass. But of course the British number one, the world number two, will be the overwhelming favourite to make it through to a third Wimbledon final. And he will be roared on by a packed centre court crowd and by those who will be sitting on Henman Hill many of whom are here watching him knock up here on court seven. I guess the question for Murray will be how long will he have to wait to get on court because he was kept waiting a long time in that Federer match against Chilich because Chilich was two up and he was 40 love up on the Federer serve early on in the third set. And then of course, as we all know, Federer came back with a storming recovery. So Murray ended up waiting another hour, hour and 20 minutes before he got on court. So he'll be keeping half an eye on Federer against Raonic just to see how quickly that match looks as though it will be finishing. But certainly an eagerly anticipated match and a real treat for everybody crowded round here on seven. The world number two in one of the most important matches of his career. Can he make it through to a third Wimbledon final? The Omens are certainly looking good the British crowd favourite.